Welcome, my name is Rob. I want to introduce you to one of the most unique places on this earth. From the looks, I could be in Mars, but this place is actually in Arizona. It's called White Pocket, in the Vermilion Cliffs National Monument on the northernmost part of Arizona. Come with me as I give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation on how to get to White Pocket, plus also give you some tips and tricks for your visit. There are two ways to get to White Pocket. You can either come through Page, Arizona, or Kanab, Utah. I prefer coming in on the south side on 89A. There is only about eight miles of off-road dirt trail to drive before you make your first turn off. Whereas coming on the north side from 89, there's 14 miles of off-road dirt trail to travel before you make the turn off. Once you're on 89A, either coming from Kanab or Page, you will turn north onto House Rock Road. This is where the road turns from pavement to dirt. Continue to follow House Rock Road for about 8 miles. This first portion of off-road trail is very washboardy, but nothing too crazy. After driving for 8 miles, you will make a slight right turn onto Pine Tree Road and continue on this road for 5 miles. You will see a house on a ranch and you will pass the house and turn left on the Big Sink Road. There will be a sign saying White Pocket with an arrow, so if you see this, you're going in the right direction. The road will become very deep with sand, so a 4x4 high clearance vehicle is a must to travel to White Pocket. There is not much cell service on the whole entire trail, so I'd recommend to come with a friend with another vehicle just in case your vehicle got stuck in the sand. The Big Sink Road leads to White Pocket Road. Take this road for about 5 more miles and you will finally arrive at White Pocket. Enjoy! Once you arrive at the parking lot, it's less than a five minute hike to White Pocket. It's very easy and simple, but watch your step as the sandstone formations are very fragile in places. Bring your hiking shoes with plenty of grip as you'll need the traction hiking around these unique rock formations. I recommend to carve out two to three hours to explore, hike around, and take pictures. I've been to White Pocket many times and the beauty of the location always makes the time fly. The best time for lighting for pictures is either at sunrise or sunset. This is when the orange and the reds really pop. Visiting White Pocket offers a truly immersive experience in nature's artistry. The swirling patterns, intricate textures, and vibrant colors of the sandstone formations create a mesmerizing spectacle. The area is also known for its interesting hoodoos, natural arches, and petrified wood, adding to its geological diversity. The name White Pocket is derived from a white colored sandstone that dominates the area. The pocket refers to a circular depression or basin formed by erosion and the unique geological processes at play. The rock formations at White Pocket were created over millions of years through a combination of tectonic activity, erosion, and weathering. The layers of sandstone were deposited in ancient sand dunes and transformed by the forces of nature. The result is a surreal landscape that attracts geology enthusiasts, photographers, and nature lovers from around the world. The foundation of White Pocket geology lies in the deposition of sediments during the Jurassic period, around 160 to 180 million years ago. During this time, the region was part of a vast desert landscape similar to today's Sahara Desert. Massive sand dunes formed, composed of wind-blown sand particles. Over time, these sand dunes were buried under layers of sediment and the immense pressure transformed the sand dunes into sandstone. The specific type of sandstone found at White Pocket is Navajo sandstone, which is renowned for its vibrant colors and distinctive patterns. Tectonic activity, including uplift and erosion, played a significant role in shaping the landscape of White Pocket. The region experienced uplift as a result of Colorado Plateau's geological processes. 
This uplift exposed the layers of sandstone to the forces of erosion, predominantly from wind and water. Erosion and weathering processes sculpted the sandstone, creating unique shapes, textures, and patterns seen at White Pocket. The wind eroded the sandstone, creating swirling formations and sculpting the rocks into intricate shapes. Water also played a crucial role with occasional flash floods carving channels and gullies into the sandstone. The combination of these geological processes, including deposition, compaction, uplift, erosion, and weathering has resulted in the mesmerizing rock formations, intricate patterns, and contrasting colors that define a white pocket. White Pocket stands as a hidden gem in the desert landscape of Arizona, offering surreal and awe-inspiring experience for those who venture to its remote location. Its rock formations, vibrant colors, and untouched beauty makes it a must-see destination for nature enthusiasts and geology lovers alike. I hope you enjoy your visit to White Pocket. Please come back and leave me a comment and tell me how much you loved it there. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more weekly hiking videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.